can't ink a turtle, unfortunately. Just learned that. Unless that turtle is Bowser or Squirtle or Junior. There's a lot of turtles in this game. You know, you could do you could do worse than him. He's got some cool stuff, like the Alolan Whip there. Let's see if we can get him. Ooh, a little inked up. Hey there, how's it going? It's Adam AK, Swimming Bird, and welcome to Super Smash Bros. Ultimate for the Nintendo Switch. This is part five of the main series. We're gonna play through Classic, battle a brand new boss, and unlock a brand new fighter by using another new character, the Inklings from Splatoon. Probably the most expected addition to the roster. But if you're looking at this huge cast and you don't know who to focus on, these guys, these little squid kids here, are a worthy investment of your time because they are very good and we're gonna talk about why. Now, if you missed any episodes so far, we did play King K. Rule, we whipped Dracula in the face with Simon, and there is also Link and the Ice Climbers, very different from how they used to be in previous titles. So please check out the playlist down in the description if you want to see that. There's also a separate one for World of Light, the adventure mode. I've been having a lot of fun with that. The Inklings here, just like the villager from Animal Crossing, they have four costumes for the boy and four for the girl, and a lot of variety in their gear, their outfits here. A lot of this based on the promotional art for Splatoon. We also have Agent 3 as well, so... The ink is going to be a factor. Your ink color changes with the costume, and unfortunately, if you're colorblind or fighting someone who is, that can affect stuff, so just be on the lookout for that. I know it's a little tougher to see for some people. We're going to go with the default inkling girl, and your ink is a big factor, if you didn't guess already. The ink from the inklings is measured by the ink tank on their back, and their special moves, as well as a bunch of their other attacks, do use the ink. Donkey Kong can just power through our splatter shot, but that doesn't mean he is gonna prevail because they are just so insane. Their, their speed is crazy. Look, they turn into a squid when they're dashing about, which gives them a low profile. They've got a really good dash grab because they can kind of just slide in there and grab the opponents really easily. And they uh, are just, in general, a very fast and decently weighed character. They are medium weight, so you're not going to get KO'd too early. They can even crouch, but unfortunately they don't turn into a squid when they do that. They just kind of crawl around weirdly. So let's talk about their special moves and why you want to make sure you are conserving your ink. Their neutral B is the splatter shot, the mainstay of Splatoon. As you can see, it does do a little bit of pushback, but it mainly is just for covering your opponent in ink and uh, <laughs> doesn't push him back enough to not get giant punched, so look out for that. You can see Donkey Kong is covered in ink. If you only cover them in a little, it'll probably go away in about five seconds or so, but when they're fully coated in that ink, it will stay for about 20 seconds, and you do more damage to an opponent that is just completely covered like that. So you want to keep them covered as much as possible. Now, the ink tank will run out with a bunch of different attacks. The rapid jab here uses up ink and is a great way to coat your opponent. Your forward throw also uses ink. If we can get a grab on Donkey Kong here, he's gonna make it difficult for me. We can kinda dash in and get him, I think. Ooh, if he doesn't trip me. Come here, buddy. So you can see it blasts him with that. And then all of your smash attacks, your slosher, your ink brush, and your blaster, the up smash, use ink, as well as your specials, of course. We showed the splatter shot. The side B, our ink is actually gonna run out, or it is run out, so this is a good time to show there are two ways to refill ink. If you are completely out of ink, you can just hit B, and you will restore your ink. See, medium weight, I survived that. But if you have ink already, B will just use the splatter shot, of course, so you don't wanna do that. You can hold shield and hit B to restore your ink. You are vulnerable during that, because you are, you know, stopped in your focused on getting that ink tank refilled, but you do go into squid form, so you kind of low profile stuff, and you know, projectiles will be having a harder time hitting you if you do that. Now, the uh, the side B here, let's use that. It's the roller, the splat roller. It does cover the ground in ink, and this is the only way to really get ink on the turf, surprisingly. I think the inklings are good enough without having more ways to cover the turf. It does not stay very long, but anyone who walks over that that is not on your side is going to have a uh, a slower time moving around on the ground. Didn't really matter too much with Donkey Kong. Jeez, he's just he's a level six computer and he's going off stage hard to edge guard me 
and parrying things. Now, if you die, you do get your ink back, so don't worry about that. The down, the side B, rather, the splat roller, there we go, is a great way to bury your opponents. It gets them stuck in the ground. It is actually a lot tougher to mash out of than you would think, but you can, you know, go crazy and hit buttons, control stick, whatever you want to do, your preferred mashing method to get out of that. And it's a little, it takes a little time to cancel that splat roller. So one of the best ways is to jump and then air dodge towards your opponent, towards the ground, so you can just do a quick smash attack is, you know, preferably the way to take them out, like that up smash you saw my blaster. We have Young Link here returning from Melee for the first time. He has been gone for quite a while. Him and Pichu have really been gone a while. Let's look out for that. Ooh, I wasn't able to stop rapid jabbing fast enough to get rid of his boomerang, or, you know, block the boomerang. Can't ink a turtle, unfortunately. Just learned that. Unless that turtle is Bowser or Squirtle or Junior. There's a lot of turtles in this game. So the side B I mentioned, that is your mainstay if you want to bury someone and then smack them around. <laughs> Any knockback that your opponent has when they are hit, so like you could hit them with like a jab, and then as soon as they're not buried, they will retain the knockback from that jab or whatever you hit on them. So you don't have to smash attack them. You could set them up for a follow-up if you do a certain attack that you know is going to send them a different direction. We got Young Link there, so let's get into classic mode here while we keep talking about the Inkling. So yeah, the, the Splat Roller is a really good KO tool if you can bury people. Now, if you're trying to deal with that, Ooh, we have, actually, let's do another fight here because we do have a challenger's approach. This is the little door that lets you re-challenge fighters. After a, a intense World of Light session, I did fail to unlock the villager from Animal Crossing, so let's re-challenge them with the Inkling now. But the, uh, <laughs> the Splat Roller, as I mentioned, a really good KO tool. If you're dealing with it, though, just you can hop up and hit the Inkling with an aerial. It can be scary, but it's not as scary as you would think. There are ways to counter it. It almost reminds me of Wario's bike in that it is kind of... It takes a little bit to get out of if you're the Inkling using it, so people can punish you for it if you use it badly. And if you shield it, until the Inkling turns around with the roller, they cannot actually hurt you with it, and uh, so that's a good way to make sure that you are not, you know, going to have to, ooh, let's be careful about that. That's a good way to ensure that you, you know, you can punish it well, just like shield it on the way over, and then, oh, I'm not doing my directional air dodge right, we'll get that down in just a sec, uh, <laughs> but yeah, if you, if you shield it, then that is an opportunity to just punish it on the, uh, as long as they don't come back at you, there we go. The, the up smash is a pretty good kill tool, but you have to, you know, hit both hits of it to really get a good smack out of it and launch them, so you're, you're almost better off using the ink brush if you're going to try to, you know, kill off the side or something, you might, there we go, have a, a more effective time doing that. I should also mention the splat roller. When you're in the air, it's kind of like Bowser Jr.'s clown car. It gives you another jump that you can use. So you can jump out of it in the air and then you still have your double jump as long as you, you know, haven't used it off stage. So it is very useful in that regard. Their theme is an incredible journey. They're going through all these different color themed battles like turf wars. So we'll see those as we go through. It'll be pretty obvious what, you know, what the theme is for each one. But yeah, the splat roll is just very useful as a recovery tool. If you have no ink, that is a move that will be completely devoid, the, you know, the roller will not have ink on it at all, and it, you'll be very, you know, obvious that you've run out of ink because it'll be tough to, let me see if I can just run, you know, roll around until I get my ink tank out of here. We also have Splatoon music on a Mario stage, which is funny to see, or here rather, but, uh, but yeah, let me get my ink all the way down. It's pretty easy to burn through your ink if you're being a little careless, and then the roller will Let's show it in the air, because it is really funny. It kind of stops all your momentum. It's almost a good way to save yourself if you have no ink and you get, you know, launched off the side. Maybe just throw that roller out, and you can use that as a way to avoid going into the blast zone. Ooh, jeez, they got me with that. Mr. Saturn's here. I'm going to break their shield with this little guy if they fall for it. Let's see if I can get somebody with it. I love... I hate throwing him around, because I love Mr. Saturn, but I also like using him, you know, when you can catch people off guard and mess their shield up. It is very fun to do. Let's do that. Oh, he caught it. Oh, Lucario. 
I'm gonna stay away from there. This is obviously the green themed one. So we're out of ink here. And you can see like certain things like your smash attacks don't actually have as much power and knockback without ink. And a lot of your specials, it's still killed. A lot of your specials will just uh, not do anything at all. This is the killer whale from Splatoon 1. And if I can catch Lucario here, maybe, oh, he died anyways. You can move around while you're using that and it catches people really well and inks them up towards the latter end of that move. That ink tank is completely empty. But yeah, you're, uh, you definitely want to keep your ink tank at least a little full because then your smash attacks will be better. They'll do more knockback and damage. And uh, as well, you know, being able to just use your special moves is very useful. You can still up B, but the other ones are not useful or usable at all when you have no ink. So let's talk about, speaking of up B, let's talk about that. It's a super jump, just like in Splatoon, and you can use that to get back. It is a really good recovery because kind of like DDD's Super DDD Jump. Let me see if I can get this here. It does, oh, that actually clashed, but it does push back. It does a little bit of damage and pushes back. Oh no, got the flying man. I was going in there to get him, but then Greninja picked him up. This is obviously a very pink themed stage here. If I get the Ramblin' Evil Mushroom, that would be great. If he gets it, he already did get it, and I've got a mushroom on my head. The, uh, <laughs> the pink theme in Magicant here is apparent. He looks like a little axolotl or something with his pink skin. I think we can KO the Flying Man, though, so I shouldn't worry too much and be too afraid of him. We'll let that just do its thing. All right. We also have the Octopus Statue, so this is definitely, you know, the Japanese version of, of Earthbound or Mother 2 with that. We don't have the pencil in here. But the, uh, yeah, so <laughs> I got distracted by the, the color theme. But the, yeah, your smash attacks and your specials and everything, especially your rapid jab and your forward throw are going to be way less effective, too. Ooh, getting rapid jab. Speaking of that, by my main here, Duck Hunt. We have a red theme on uh, Norfair. Wario. He is, uh, he's definitely chomping on me. And we got a nice Pokemon helping us out. So the down special. This is probably their most useful, honestly. Where did I go? Okay, I'm good. <laughs> and he's dead. The down special is the Splat Bomb, and depending on how long you hold this bomb, it will throw out either just, you know, directly above you or get chucked really far. It does more damage and knockback based on how long you hold it. So that's just if you tap it, it just kind of throws it up in the air slightly. It does ink very well, so that's a good thing to use to uh, really cover your opponent in ink. Speaking of that, Yoshi is just, yeah, just covered there. And then if you hold it, there we go. It's really, really good offstage edge guarding tool. If you can guard the edge with the no charge version and you can guard, you know, off the stage with the very charged one. So it is useful to, uh, to catch opponents that are trying to recover in both ways. And if you don't have any ink, you just saw, there's, an, I have ink, but I don't have enough for a splat bomb. She'll kind of look at her ink tank. I want to get that mushroom and heal myself a little. Yoshi, ooh, is going to be pretty scary here. I'll catch him with this. He'll go right into there, I'm guessing. Come on, buddy. Or I can just throw him if he doesn't get eaten by the creepy fish from Balloon Fight. Throw him up into that. Did not launch him that far, but it's fun to do. I like that launch star. Let's charge one of these and just helped him with these bombs while he's stuck in there. I kind of feel bad for him, but I shouldn't because he is strong. Let me get this bok choy and try to get him out of here before he kills me. He is giant after all. He is, he's taking a lot of, uh, a lot of ink and he's still coming back. The up smash has this cool bounce. You know, it's like if you hit it when they're in front of you, it'll pop them up and then launch them. So that's good to make sure you you are uh, doing, so otherwise you'll just get the one hit and it's not quite as effective. I should be careful of that. Bomb Chew, come here Yoshi. Up air is a really good killing tool. It has two hits and the first hit can combo into other stuff. Let's try to see if I can splash, splat bomb him. I always wanna say splash bomb, but I think that's the Japanese equivalent. Oh, no Yoshi. <laughs> Played with my food too long, it was that, jeez. Almost 200%. We're gonna use a ticket on this one and come back. I could probably kill him with that. Otherwise, we're gonna get stampeded by Yoshi. And you don't want that. Oh no! <laughs> Yoshi! 
Don't be a jerk. And take that. Oh no, don't you dare stampede me. That would be horrible. It's cool. It's a nice nod to melee, but this might kill us. No! It's actually from a Mario manga, or the, a comic from Nintendo Power, and it was put in the opening of melee, so... Man, just like Mufasa there, just getting destroyed. I'm, I'm just gonna... He's got enough percentage where I can just do that. There we go! <laughs> Ground pounded into the snow. It looked fun, but it was deadly. So, yeah, the, the splash bomb can be very useful, not just as an edge guarding tool, but a great way to apply some pressure and, you know, protect your Ready? your area as well as, you know, fully inking pretty much your opponent. There's a lot of ink coverage, as you can see. Here's the purple theme with... Ooh, I thought I could shield that maybe in time. Purple theme with Fountain of Dreams, just as beautiful as ever. Let's be very careful here, because Mewtwo is making things rough. Yeah, you, can, you really slow down when you run out of your, your ink and you're trying to use that side beat and there's the rapid jab without ink it just kind of does nothing so it's not you know not the best once you run out of your ink but it is still you can still get some jabs with that i'm just gonna build up some damage here on these boys <laughs> and then we'll try to edge guard them with those bombs there we go you see they do a lot of a lot of knockback for they're they're deceptive they're also almost like a ninja tool of, uh, of deception where you can throw it out and then in the midst of the, ooh, we'll be back. In the midst of the craziness of the splat bomb, you can just, you know, have catch people off guard because they won't know where you're going or what you're gonna do. Uh-oh, uh-oh, we got a PK star storm if I'm not careful. Oh, I got one of them, but I don't know about getting both. This one's actually fairly easy to avoid but Ness himself is going to be the problem. Okay. Uh, so I should also mention, since we were talking about it a little bit, the up B, the, the super jump, is one of the better ways to uh, to recover in this game. It is so fast. It also kind of reminds me of DDD's uh, super DDD jump, because it goes you know straight up really far and is just very tough to punish. It's very fast, and it's I think it actually snaps onto the ledge better than most other recoveries in this game meaning it's very tough to, you know, two-frame catch someone on the ledge in those two frames of vulnerability. We have a Splatfest going on, and uh, oh, there's three teams competing, which is very odd for Splatoon, but it is the nice, you know, night version of this stage. Ooh, the range on Up Smash is not the best or anything, so you kind of have to make sure you're timing it right, but it is good. Let's see if we can... Ooh, they're going to team up on me. Oh, <laughs> didn't even realize I was holding a bullet bill. So yeah, using that splat, or splash bomb, it is going to be a... I keep mixing them up, but yeah, splat bomb, either way is actually correct, <laughs> depending on where you live. But the uh, the splat bomb is very effective for masking what you want to do. I really, I thought I was the other inkling for a sec. So that's another thing that can happen. You cover someone in your, your color of ink, and you might think that you're them if you're not careful. So watch out for that. You got the banana. I thought it was the banana gun for a second. But yeah, building up damage, it feels like the Inkling has a lot of ways to finish people off. All their smashes, of course, but then up air is very strong. There you go. That double kick is pretty powerful. I think we covered all of their uh, their special moves. If I forgot anything, you know, there's, there's probably a ton of other Inkling players out there that can talk, you know, in the comments with you guys if you, you know, have any info that you're interested in. Let's see if we can dash through here. They are very, very quick with their squid form. So it's not too tough to get around. Their movement is just really interesting. They just seem seem like they might, of, of most of the characters, seem like they are maybe most likely to get some nerfs. It is a little weird that only your, your splat roller, that's why I was mixing up, because splat roller and splat bomb, but not splash. Uh, the, the roller is the only way to really cover ink on the terrain, which is strange for having so many inking tools. But at the same time, there, there's things they could change with the Inkling, like making them move faster on inked terrain, but that might make them even better than they are, and I feel like we might see some changes. Like, maybe they're gonna... I have a feeling they might change the recovery to... Uh, I'm not gonna worry about that. They might change the recovery, like the super jump might not be as good if you don't have ink. Right now, it doesn't seem to have any real effect on it, so it's still, uh, still really good to come back. But imagine if you had no ink in your tank, 
and then that was a disadvantage. So that could be a way to balance them out. Here is the brand new boss, Marks. I was hoping to see him not behind me creeping up, but as a playable character, because I love Marks as a boss from Kirby. But he is here. He would have been really cool, because Star Allies kind of proved he has a nice move set for Smash Brothers. But he's here as a boss. I'm glad to see him at all in this game. So it's definitely cool to uh, have him added. But at the same time, I don't know. Maybe he could get... I feel like we're about due for another Kirby character. Problem is, uh, I don't know if it'll be him, because he's already a boss, of course. But he is definitely fun to see in here. And he's the boss of this mode, or this journey. Incredible journey because of the rainbow of colors, of course, on his wings. He has some unique attacks in here compared to Smat or compared to, you know, the Kirby games. So I think he's they did add to him. That black hole, oh no! That's not good. Ugh. Okay. You can probably tech that spike, but I didn't do it in time. He can just, yeah, go into the ground. He's got all his familiar moves from Milky Way Wishes. And uh, some new ones when you start getting him beaten down a little bit. Ooh, his eyes. Ugh, I'm pretty sure that is new. I don't remember him losing his eyes. It's kind of maybe Sakurai's trying to update him for the new internet creepypasta, you know, culture. So, ooh. I was going to say, I, mean, I could parry that, but that's a strange feeling. He's got a... Uh, a cool look to him, and I lo I, I don't know, I think even... Jeez, I did it again. Let me see if I can tech this. It's a lot easy... Ooh, jeez. A lot easier to stop your, your fall in this game. There's just more forgiving stuff, and the inkling is so fast I can just outpace his, uh, his little black hole teleportation there. Let me get enough ink here, because I want to just throw a bomb into the air, and he'll probably run right into it. He's almost dead. Just gotta look out for those. One more... Good hit. And we do, remember, we do have a new challenger. What is going on with those lasers? Taking a page from Master Hand and Crazy Hand with that. There we go. He's so happy to die and bounce around. He broke his wings off. There he is. Oh, he's adorable. The Inklings have the uh, This Way and the Booyah taunts as a carryover from Splatoon. They just mainly cheer and pose because they are all about style. Okay, 8.7, not too bad. I had to use a couple tickets, but that's the way it goes when you're talking about a new character and trying to uh, do your best to also play through. We'll get a couple prizes and then skip to the other brand new character we're going to challenge. Thanks to World of Light unlocking certain other characters, like we would have had Wii Fit challenge us here, but I got her already in World of Light, so we will have another. It worked out really well to get another new challenger. I can't think of anything I'm, I'm forgetting with the Inklings. There are even more nuances. But yeah, make sure you're keeping your ink levels high. And uh, because of their, their edge guarding, you can throw a splat bomb and then just, you know, recharge your ink pretty well. They do use a lot of ink, but I think there's ways, if you get somebody off stage, that it's pretty easy to get your ink back when you need to. Just, you know, keep an eye on that. There's a little meter next to your percentage to make sure you know how much ink you have. Oh, I love to see, you know, Judd and, Judd and Lil Judd are on... The, the Moray Tower stage, but we also have the Squid Sisters assist trophy. And uh, there's nuances with the boy and girl in clean. There's different, you know, voice clips and stuff, obviously, but some of their win animations are different as well. So lots of work put into these guys. Gooey! Speaking of Kirby characters I love, I'd love to see Gooey as maybe an echo for Kirby. My big hope is that we're going to just, you know, have an echo thrown in with some of the DLC just as a bonus, since they only added so many echoes and. They've made this whole new category for them. One character that isn't an Echo, very unique original character. You know, he's a little like Zengi from Sp Street Fighter, but he is a wrestler at heart. It is Incineroar, and I gotta not underestimate this guy because he, there we go, I almost did that fast enough, but he's really early percent. He is, uh, he is pretty devastating. Incineroar will might most likely be, if you guys want to see him, who we play as next time. And he is, uh, he is fun, even though he might not be the best character, I don't know. The Inklings seem like they are definitely really good and, uh, and worth learning, but Incineroar, if he is your kind of thing, then you could, you know, you could do, you could do worse than him. He's got some cool stuff, like the Alolan Whip there. Let's see if we can get him, ooh, a little inked up. That, there's so much time on that if people aren't, you know, or the computer is not mashing well to get out of the berry from the, the splat roller. And it gives you a million years to uh, get into position 
and blast them. And I'm not all that practiced with these guys. And, you know, if I can do it, you can do it. Inklings definitely seem like they might be one of my go-tos, along with Duck Hunt and some other characters we haven't unlocked yet. But we'll get to them later. Thank you guys so much for watching. We have completed Classic with a bunch of the, the newcomers, but Incineroar might be next up. This little, uh, he looks like a Ninja Turtle with that skin, honestly. He's, uh, he's got a fun theme to him as well. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please leave a like if you enjoyed this. Let's just see what else is in the shop before we finish up. Gotta get the Tragic Prince from Symphony of the Night. Ooh, I didn't even realize that was in here. I love Symphony of the Night and some more Animal Crossing music. And uh, yeah, if you want to subscribe or hit the notification bell, I really appreciate everybody hanging out, you know, talking in the comments and, uh, and helping support the videos in the channel. I really do appreciate it. Thank you guys again, and I'll see you next time for more Smash.